Next up Woo-hoo! at UFC Atlantic City, we Loopy. have Loopy. Oh, I thought you were clapping for. We got I Verna Janaroba taking on Lupita Godinez. Verna Janaroba, nineteen and three overall, three and two in her last five, coming off back to back grappling wins. Taking on Lupita Godinez, twelve and three overall, four and one in her last five, riding a four fight win streak. This is an interesting fight to break down because we have Lupi Godinez, historically unreliable. More than one fight where she's been on. Unreli- oh no! How'd she do against here, Angela Hill? Get How did she do against Angela she, Hill? She's changed gyms and she's a different fighter. I know that. Oh, so when I said historically unreliable, that was an inaccurate has, statement or an accurate statement? It's not a. You're trying to make it seem like that is going to carry over to her new style. And when I accurate. said historically, historically yeah, you're unreliable, trying to set, you're trying to set that up to. Well, make you it don't know what like, my next sentence is. I do, but you don't. So you started your thumbs down nonsense in the first sentence. Is she historically unreliable, Jacob? Nope. Okay. We'll watch the Cynthia Calvillo Lobo fight Jim together. Sars, get the fuck out of here, bitch boy. Anyway, what I was going to say is, although she is historically unreliable, when moving gyms and training with, I actually hate to give her credit because you're annoying. Training with Alexa Grasso and that team, she has seemed to become a different fighter. She's far more aggressive, less reliant on the wrestling, and she's actually moving forward. That was her issue. When she was unreliable, she just wasn't doing enough. She wasn't wrestling is what she wasn't. Well, yeah, she wasn't doing enough. She wasn't trying to get the fight to the ground. She wasn't staying in people's faces, and she wasn't trying to win those fights. The Cynthia Calvillo fight was painful as hell. The Angela Hill fight was painful as hell. And then she changed gyms, made adjustments. Now she comes forward. She's got clean striking, and she'll work her wrestling. I will say, though, she did not use a lot of wrestling in her last fight Thank against God. Tabitha that Ricci. That was all part of the plan. I give the, it was, I give the, the Lobo gym the, the game plans, and that was a great game plan. The re- defensive wrestling was there, but she did not wrestle offensively. She's taken on Verna Jandaroba. This is a tougher matchup than these odds imply. I, I do not think Loopy should be a two-to-one favorite. This is Jacob's bias. When, when they comment that they hate your guts because you're a simp and you're biased, this is this is exactly what it is. Because if if Loopy looked like Verna, do you think this buffoon would have these opinions? No. If I love Loopy, Verna. I've talked highly about Verna in the past. Okay. I fucking love Verna. So yeah. there's no fucking bias Well, we're talking here. about Listen looks. We're talking about looks. We're talking about looks. Because the only reason you're laughing in my face when I say Loopy's unreliable, which she has proven to be, is because she lo- she's that fucking smirk and her eyes are looking right into your soul. That's that's why you're saying that. She I will say... On, uh, she follows me on Instagram, so... This is a tough matchup because Verna is a dog. Verna cares about nothing other than moving forward and getting the fight to the ground. That's all Verna cares about. And she's pretty good at it. She comes forward. She'll absorb whatever she has to absorb. She'll strike a little bit. It's not very good. And then she will drag you to the ground. There are no secrets in what she wants to do. So while we have seen Loopy offensively wrestle, take people down offensively, and we saw her defend in her most recent fight, Tabitha Ricci's takedowns. Verno's takedowns are going to be a little different than Tabitha Ricci's. I do think Loopy wins this fight. She is light years ahead on the striking. She's got much better coaching, a better team. But Verna just, she has that wrestling dog in her. So Loopy's going to be the pick. But I actually think I'm staying away from this fight. Or if I do something, I'll have Loopy in a high-risk parlay because I've got way too much respect for Verna and her game plan. We we don't have to wonder, is Verna going to show up in this fight? We know she will. It just might not be enough. So Loopy's going to be the pick, but man, these odds should be a lot closer. Why don't you tell us why uh, Lupita's the hottest chick in the world and you're going to pick her to win and she's the best and Lobo Jin's the best and then fake speak Spanish. Why don't, you, why don't you do that for us? Verna is a very resilient wrestler who has okay takedowns. The issue with Verna is... 
even when she has all the success in the world in the first round, she could have four minutes of control. Guess what? She fucking slows down, and those takedowns get fucking terrible. And sometimes they work against people like Marina Rodriguez, who doesn't really have takedown defense, but she will get lazy with those takedown defense, and her striking turns into just a spinning back fist every fucking 45 seconds of complete nonsense. So if you believe that Werner's going to win this fight in the first round, for some reason, that's how you think she's going to win this fight. Because there is no way in hell that she is going to win a decision fight versus Loopy. Loopy is probably the better wrestler, probably the better grappler, and is the better striker. And she is a dog in her own right. If you don't know Loopy, she has two sisters that are Olympic-level wrestlers in Canada. She's been with her sisters, or at least one sister, during this camp. Well, also, what I love about Loopy is that she was fighting, she was very active. I mean, she was one of the most active fighters on the roster. And I think that really kind of wore her down a little bit, maybe not physically, but maybe mentally. And I think if you, sometimes you need a little bit of a break, a little bit of a longer camp. This is her first fight since November. She's still been at Lobo. She's got a nice little full little five, six months or whatever it is leading up to this fight. I think she fucking smokes Verna. I, Verna is not going to be able to take this girl down. Even if she does get the, the, down, Loopy is it's very strong, knows what she's doing on the ground. I, I think she's a better wrestler. If I'm Loopy, it is the exact same game plan as Tabitha Ricci, and it is going to be much easier than Tabitha Ricci because Tabitha Ricci kept coming forward for all three rounds. It's nonstop. Verna will slow down, and her striking is fucking terrible when she does, and her takedown att attempts are terrible when she does too. So if you're Loopy, don't get over aggressive early. Let's play it nice and cool first round get out of the first round and then you can start putting some pressure on and Verna's just gonna start throwing these wild crazy spinning back fists missing takedowns and I even think that Loopy is live for a finish in the second in the third round you saw her flip that switch against Elise Reed pick her up take her down get the submission uh, obviously against Tabitha Ricci that was a great game plan she didn't want to go to the ground and Ricci's a tough girl to finish on the feet um now I I am a little bit biased in this. This isn't like a, a Amanda Hebos type breakdown. I, I really believe... I, I like Loopy because of her fighting. I've been all over Loopy since her debut. I fucking love Loopy as a fighter. I think she has championship level abilities, and she's starting to really kind of figure it out. Uh, I like her in this matchup. I think she dominates. We picked the same fighter. We're on very different sides of that same spectrum there, but... I've got a little more faith in Verna, but uh, it will 100% come down to can Loopy defend the takedowns. She's Should be able defend, to. She's only got to defend him in the first mm. round, I'll tell you that. Those takedowns are she, fucking terrible after the first. Well, she should be able to defend them. She should be able to. We'll see what happens here. But Jacob and I both on the same Lupita Godinez side. I don't even think a round line is safe here. You, know, you see a two and a half for women. Eh, the over, super easy. I don't even think that's the case here because we watch Loopy spark Elise Reed. And Verna's not Elise Reed. But if Verna... Oh, she I mean, picked her up and submitted her. Who? Elise Reed. What? Well, I'm saying Verna's not Elise Reed. Yeah, you said she sparked Elise Reed. She did. Well, she picked her up, she slammed her down, and then she Does spark her. only work with knockouts? Knock him out, yeah. Oh, I use it as very quickly oh, beat somebody. Yeah, you spark him. Oh, you learn something new every day. I see. I try to be like young and cool with the internet lingo, and Ooh, then these odds are coming down a little bit. I got a uh, loopy inside the distance. Uh, not not those odds. I got. I'm talking about these. I got loopy inside the distance plus five fifty. That's plus four fifty. Came come down. I, I like that bet. Wow, there you go. Anyway, we're on the same side here. Eighty seven hundred dollars in DraftKings. I'm actually not going to spend that on loopy. She does not score those points if she doesn't offensively wrestle. And she didn't offensively wrestle in her last fight. She might not offensively wrestle in this fight either. This might look exactly like her last fight. Defend the takedowns. Stay busy striking. And that people, gym has good striking coaches. And not that they're turning Loopy into a striker, but I think she's going to have enough success striking because Verna striking sucks that she's not even going to try to wrestle and then she's not going to score us any points. So no Here, for me and DraftKings. Here's the breakdown that people are going to like, and, and people are giving me shit about this last week with Amanda Hebos. I thought she hung tough against uh, Rose, but people talk about her striking. Oh, she's not good. a better She striker. gets hit a lot and stuff like that. Um, when, when, when Amanda fought Verna, she was controlled in the first round. Verna started getting desperate. And Amanda Hebos, if people don't think she's got good striking, I think she, she's got good enough striking. Amanda Hebos beat the absolute fuck out of Verna for two rounds. 
got taken down, controlled in the first round, beat the absolute fuck out of her in the second round and in the third round. And Loopy is probably a better striker than Amanda. And she's, um, so if you, there's a little comparison for you. Well, there you go. We want picks.com. Click become a member. Only $10 for an entire month worth of access. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.